A beautiful morning to you out there. Do you know that it is not just when we sleep and we wake up that it is just morning? Everything in our life has its morning. There is a morning for you as a human being, as someone who God has created in his image. And that morning talks about your early days of life. What do you do with it? That's one morning. There is early morning in your business. Mm -hmm. Even in your academics, that's early morning when you go from kindergarten to uh, from pre to kindergarten class to your primary, and you now go through the secondary to the you know high institution. So for every part of our life, for most of the things that we come through or we go through in life, there is always an early morning. So I want to say a beautiful morning to you out there. How was your night? I hope your night was restful, and I hope that you're bouncing this morning mm -hmm. we've told you that it's good for you to always set something in motion set something that will make you to jingle yourself and get off bed early in the morning it is not easy especially with the kind of economy and situations we're going through but i know god understands and he will see us through as long as we're not lazing around as long as we are faithful and we believe that things will come back for good in our lives this is Galaxy Television and the program is Family and Values. I hope that we're going to have a splendid day this morning. And as much as we do that, we want you to join us on our social media platforms, on all the social media platforms from Instagram to Facebook to YouTube to X. Yes, join us. We are live as we speak. And don't forget, we are live on Galaxy Television. That's where you can find us okay and also on all our uh, other applications download the galaxy mobile app like joy will always remind you don't just do that we have avo app you get galaxy television on it we have o prime you get galaxy television on it on the national digitalized station 741 you will get us and don't forget on start times moment zero mm -hmm. and fifth to air too so you are not missing if you're on the road you miss this no you're not you are part of it if you want to so we love to have you this morning my name is glory at the and be david my friends call me Olori aj ah oh, it's another beautiful day and i'm not here alone Yes, Magdalene is here, Kay is here, all the camera, the everybody, the MCR, the Queen Man, the Co and the Godwins and everything. And my darling beautiful sister is right here beside me. So I'm not here in you. Don't think I'm here. Princess, how are you? I'm fine. Good morning. I don't know. Anytime my mind just tickle me to put on something similar to you. Uh, something else will just happen. Anyway. That is true with the Holy Spirit. You will see. I'm only supposed to. This that is what I'm supposed to put on today. I'm, for some reason, I just felt like, no. Let me not. I So when I came in and saw, I was like, ah, oh, the Holy Spirit told me. That's how she has been said. She's got me in her hand like this. Stop it. You're looking good this morning. It's so calm. So I love the brightness and the white too. Yeah. Yeah, almost yes. looking yes. similar. Almost, almost similar. Almost similar. So we're Good morning to our extreme viewers. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Family and Values on Galaxy Television. Yes, my name is Princess Joy Ayo Abu. Today is on your Tuesday. It's always with a difference. We bring you a different um, touch, a different matter. We say Tuesday with a difference. So today is not going to be left out. It's a Tuesday with a difference. Well, if you're still stuck in traffic, oh, sorry. <laughs> but the roads are a bit free. That's one thing I've noticed. That's the it. roads are a bit free. I think maybe a lot of cars are not, um, they are still battling with PMS. I don't know. But um, there was something that really got to me inside the vehicle when we were okay. Somebody said that Nigerians, we have a very strong, resilient spirit. Mm. And that we mm. adapt to situations quicker and, and we faster move on. And yeah we move on. that's it and i was like why did you say that he said look at the issue of the pms mm. suddenly everybody is buying it at nine something nobody is complaining that's you know it. everybody has taken that it's a normal thing and i was like wow and truly when you look at it we truly have a very strong resilience true. spirit and very you know, true so kudos to every nigerian out there this is me saying well done keep pushing keep going you're not left behind you're not alone 
millions of people are here also and family and values is telling whatever you're going through don't worry don't give up hmm? No pasture. There's always light yeah, at the tunnel. Welcome yes. and enjoy the show. Today's topic, don't worry. We enjoy it. Trust <laughs> us. Ah, just don't worry. Okay, so um today's topic. Ah, one more. Yeah. Bam bam. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy, but um mm -hmm. I want to say this. Um Today, I remember one of my uncles. I have heard so much about. Mm. Unfortunately, I never met him. So uh. today, he passed on 60 years ago. I'm talking about none other than Josiah Akinsunde Salako, mm. and also my beautiful grandmother. I met her. She was my mother. Mm. She, you know, she's supposed to be my but she was my mother, and I still remember her every time. Mm anywhere any day so i am also uh, remembering my darling grandmother anna jay salako who passed on 31 years ago wow and um my family is doing this my salako family is doing mm. it which is my mother's side my mm. mom is all preparing everything delicacy as we speak ah that so means we are going to the house oh they're serious thank god i thank god my, my two lovely party. people <laughs> it was my mom's uncle mm. and everything you know is all eating and chewing yeah, and then um, biting and yeah, crawling don't and worry. everything so um, we remember them we love them yeah, we they continue to them. rest in peace and so everyone celebrating today i have engineer new back july he mm. is um he's a legal state um, civil servant um, staff and he's a vio he is being in the service is one of these top of guys mm. in VIS. Okay, so happy birthday to you and also to Honorable Bayo Adifuye. He is the son of um, Senator Adifuye. So mm. happy birthday to this happy two wonderful birthday people. To you, all you know, we start from family and values from every one of us um, and to everyone celebrating today. We love you. Do you we have a shout you. out? We today? love you. We love you. Okay, you. so. Um, my friend's um, son Alexander did his christening on Sunday. Yay. I think it was a big party. On Monday, I couldn't attend because Lawrence I was so son, right? No, Lawrence's son birthday was on Saturday. This one is at um, another one. Yeah, wow. yeah, you know. So we are wishing you the very best. We're we praying for we long pray. life yeah. and God's um, protection. We still might continue to wisdom, grow in yes, wisdom Alexander, and stature. Alexander, you grow in wisdom and everything. The Lord protect you. Yeah. So, so that's all for now. um it's time for us to go for a mini feature mm. because our guest is waiting <laughs> this person you know no, we when, it want, comes, you know, when <laughs> it comes time will not do us so <laughs> let's just go for a mini feature i'll be right back so don't go anywhere stay tuned and um, we are just about to step on the first surface of family and value this morning <laughs> okay we have none other as our guests Oluremi Lawa is a man of God, he's a parenting coach, and uh, he is an author when it comes to writing and you know, also putting one or two things together meaningful to the well being of how we actually bring our children up. Is there so this morning we have Remy Lawa, and our topic is sleepovers. I'll save ha joy. Can you allow your daughter to go for sleepover? <laughs> <laughs> you are 21st you know, century you know, you, know, you know why I was being laughed when I saw the topic and I was trying to my daughter just looked at me and said even if everybody allowed you fun, unfortunately she has never done any sleepover no, she has not asked for it no she has she will get to that stage she has um, friends have invited her but because I'm not there <laughs> Leaving her alone to go, it's Yay. where I don't know. Maybe Remy will put Remy like, will put us. You know, it just, is because you don't have confidence. No, it's That's not about having confidence. confidence. No, we her. don't need to agree. I, I'm not just sharing my. I am not supporting that. No, it's the fact that I don't trust the other party to so let her go. So that's why we have Remy this morning to set us out in the situation. Oh, why Remy left Kwamola? Well, where are you? Where are thou? That's how the other man was asked. Only one yeah. left to wear a dress. I am here. Good morning. 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 Good 
Okay, I can't see you. I can't see you this morning. It's so good to it's have a you pleasure. good morning. And you look like a Santa. So you morning. look like one. But now, Remy, our topic this morning is um, sleep over. Sleeping over. How safe is sleepovers? When we talk about sleepover, what should we look at? What are those things that should run through our mind? Because is it beneficial in any way? And you know, talking about in those days when we were growing up, right, do our parents maybe we'll go to uncle's place and everything? But you know, this primitive way of thinking that ah, they will swap my daughter's destiny, they will carry my, you know, all that. I'm not there. They can abuse her, they can molest her, she can be, you know, that. So, how beneficial is sleepovers? And what exactly can we turn to the sleepovers? What should we expect as parents? When we talk about sleepover. Well, good morning, Good morning, Princess Joy. And good morning to our viewers. So nice to be here again today. Um, I shared something this morning, and uh, I want to be part of it. I said we are raising our children in one of the loneliest times of social evolution. I can't see the studio, so I'm sure, I hope you are hearing me, please. Can you hear me? Yeah. We can. Ca can you hear me? Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes. Yes, you are. You are very audible okay, and clear. Thank you. Very, very right, audible thank you. and clear. All right, thank you. Okay, and I said one in five adolescents feel lonely despite the illusion of social media connections and friendships. So, this is where we have found ourselves. The last time I was in the studio, I said something about projection. And that's what I've brought about this. First and foremost, sleepover visits, they are highly essential for the mental health and the growth of our children. I will say that again. Whether sleepovers or visiting, they are highly essential for the mental well-being or health and the growth or social development of our children. So it is important. Now, I heard them, um, Mrs. Joy, saying that she has not allowed her daughter to sleep because she doesn't trust the other person. Yes, the reason your daughter has not slept over is the same reason you have not allowed your daughter to sleep over. So the other party is not inviting your children the same way you're not releasing your children. So all of us are on the same fence. You know, fence of lack of trust. I don't know the kind of um, family they are. I don't know the kind of upbringing they have. I don't know what they do in their homes. So I'm not just going to let lose my children into the hands of strangers. And that's fair enough. So that's what brought about these statistics I read right now. One in every five adolescents feels highly lonely despite the illusion of um, finding them in the midst of people. You realize today when you find young people together, they are not having meaningful or sensible interactions. They are all on their phones. The only time you hear them put heads together is when they run into a mem or um, maybe, uh, what do you call it right now, a skit that is funny. You hear them laugh together. And then those of us who are passerby, they will be good to think that these people are having a cordial relationship they are not having anything near it these are strangers despite being together for years or standing together chatting together they are strangers to each other the only thing that bring them together are just those things i mentioned or when there's um a gist about a friend if it if it is boys it has to be about girls or drinks so that's what where we have found ourselves and how did this happen only oh, no, said something at the beginning the fear of them um, they want to snatch my child's destiny uh, they are going to do this they are going to do that all of those exist and like i was telling some people on saturday 
there is nothing just like the bible captured it there is nothing that is new under the sun there is nothing happening today that has not been happening before people have been killing just like people kill today people have been kidnapping just like people kidnap today people have been using humans for money making rituals though i don't know the mindset that brought about that and how real that is i don't want to find out anyway so those things have been in existence before now you know what has brought it to limelight is the adver ad ad adver i mean advancement you know um, social media that came so it pronounces things when it happens it makes it look like oh you mean this is happening as we speak just because nobody has captured it on video somebody is raping someone as we speak someone is kidnapping someone as we speak someone is killing somebody as we speak somebody is stealing from somebody as we speak and someone is misleading a child as we speak so going back to sleepover sleepovers are good boys a two-sided thing it has its advantages and disadvantages so you're not going to let your children sleep over in a place where you do not know them i remember a story that was told to me some years ago in a family it was told to me by the son of the woman you know, they said that when the children come over for holidays, that this grandmother, she would be the last to sleep. So when all the children have locked themselves up in the, in the room, she would go in the night and be waking the girls. And she'd be saying, Did they? the private part does not know family members. Get up. Private part does not know family members. So, you know, going back to those days, these trusts exist. Exist, but people still found a way to manage it so all i'm going to say is if you do not allow your children to either sleep over there is no way they are going to know themselves very well because there are interactions that happen at night and there are some that happen in the day and at night you know we have the time there are no encumbrances mental or emotional so i am at my best i am free Nobody is expecting me to return back with a report. Nobody is expecting me to return back with a test. Neither is there any assignment. So the mind is calm. So you see, people talk at their best at night. So when you allow them to sleep over, it, it has its own advantage. Like I said earlier, it does have its own disadvantage. Now, I'm going to put this on parents. If you're afraid, not to let your children sleep over it just tells me one thing that you have not done a proper job i'll take us back to the last time i was in the studio when we spoke about home training and upbringing and i said home we call so when your child finds him or herself in the midst of wrong people home will always call so you can only entice the person who has not been properly structured who's been left to be affected by top party imprints. And once you notice it in your children, that's something you should pay attention to. And I'm gonna give a hint right now. I know a lot of people have adults, babies in adult frame that they are handling. So I'm not gonna ask you to release such child to go and do a sleepover, else you have something else you're dealing with by the following morning. Now, what do I mean by third party imprint? You see children that you see you don't know where they are going they themselves do not know where they are going so if you ask them today they will come and tell you i want to be a doctor then wake them up what eight hours later the same child will tell you i want to be a lawyer give the child another few weeks the child will come back and tell you i want to be an accountant there's nothing wrong with the child all you need to do is just stop this child and rebuild this child before you release that child to other people if not this child will get to other people's house if he or she finds them smoking the child will see everything beautiful about smoking that's a child with third party imprint but if you have brought your child so well put the child in the midst of anybody no structure can change any structure it's just like um when a house is built, it's either you destroy it or you just improve on it. I think that's my very long opening remarks on this topic. Thank you. Thank you very much, Remy.
Um, you've said you've said a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. But then, you know, for somebody like me that have fears of the unknown from the other side. Now, not because I do not trust my daughter to let her go for sleepover. Now, I have information. I have knowledge. How well do I trust the other parents to have raised the child? Like you said, home will always call. That is number one. Now, I can allow other kids come for sleepover. But letting my own go. Now, because I believe that in me, I can protect my territory. But how well can other par um, parents protect their territory? Just said something like, the private part has no, um, no, no family. You know, even within the home, we try to guide this. Now, how well is sleepover in the real sense of it? And should parents cultivate that habit of sleepover? Sometimes I honestly want to let her go. But then I look at the society we are living in. I look at the fact that a lot of parents are not doing proper parenting. And then I feel like, you know, it's like when I say something, I, I usually say that you train your child properly and you send them to school. How are you sure that the other kids they are going to mingle with are properly trained? And that's where the issue of community parenting comes in. And I say, as you're training your own child, train the next child, train the children around you because you don't know where they are all going to mix. You understand where I'm coming from? So okay. now, how safe yeah, is it? And should parents cultivate that habit? For somebody like me, I really want to. Should I throw caution as, okay, let's give it a try. Let's see. Let's let's monitor it. Let's see how it goes. How safe is it? And should parents really in, indulge in um, sleepovers? At least with people you know. Or, I'm not talking of families, though. They sleep with families. But I'm talking of friends in school, you know, um, friends that they meet in parties and then they have a bond. I'm not talking of cousins and mm -mm. I'm talking of in school not yeah not, not extended family not people you're conversing with these are friends from school right. like so. um, secondary school they have this get together and one person's house wants to sleep so how Over. safe it, is it and should parents cultivate the habits all right parents should cultivate the habits I'm not going to say that that missing words however I'm going to say this before you permit your child to go over to someone else's house sleepover shouldn't be the first thing so i'm not gonna your, my son is my son is not gonna meet a friend today and then by tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening he tells me he's going to sleep over i'm sure we all know that that's not visible so all i'm going to say is because we need ourselves we are not meant to do life alone we are meant to do life with people you see, I was discussing with someone this morning, and it's part of something I shared on my general parenting group, the power of the mind. You know, the mind is God's special gift to us. Success is not, is not a product of hard work. Let's get that. I know a lot of people will disagree. The world we live in, my job is to, my job is to dissect some of the things they have boxed and given to us success is not a product of hard work i'm sure recently we've heard people say something about smart work success is a product of mindset you see a lot of people who work hard and they are not successful because their mindset they inherited a mindset a poverty mindset so that's not the subject right now so what i'm saying is before you allow your children to start sleeping over there must be there must have been several visits so the first thing is if my child comes today to tell me ah dad i have a friend his name is ayz oh wonderful tell me about the the friend and he tells me about the friend i'll leave it like that it is his word against my belief so the next thing is for me to invite the boy over i will watch them interact i'm not going to have any interaction with the child when the child when the child visits the first time i'll watch them you know watch the child's behavior from a distance don't forget if you move close people will pretend to be what they are not but pretend like you're not paying attention to them as a smart parent you are let them be free so in their liberty in their liberty when they are pleasurable the thing in them will come out and that's when i can draw my inferences is this the kind of person my child should move with or not so you must first invite the person over 
and then there must have been several visits it is when there has been exchange of visit then you ask about the parents you do your background check to know okay who are the parents who, what do they do who, who exactly are they where are they from what's their track records which church or which mosque which church do they attend which mosque do they pray in make your own findings when you have when you're equipped with this information then you can draw your conclusion to know whether your child can be left to go sleep over or not so sleep over is not something that happens on us i want to say it except you have lost control except the parent that has lost control of his or her child that a child will just walk up to you now and say dad mom i'm going to sleep over at my friend's place just today and that friend has never visited my son has not done day visits and then all of a sudden to start to sleep over so there's a build up i think that's the balance of this conversation there is a build up and let us also not take away a fact the moment your child begins to form an alliance with somebody your introvertedness has to be broken that's when you also must start building an alliance with that family I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. Let me say it again. The moment your child builds an alliance with, a, with another person's child, your introvertedness and your laws, your preferences of being alone has to be broken immediately. So automatically, you need to begin to interact with that family. Ah, can I have your parents' number? And you put a clear across. I just thought to let you know that my son and your son are friends my daughter and your daughter are friends okay just so you know who the parents are i am lawalo remi this is what i do and this is when the church we attend and all of that once you say that common sense tells that they should also introduce themselves and that will be a, a face value introduction so consequently i mean con i mean i mean subsequently other interactions will reveal each other to your you will reveal yourselves to one another then you will know if it's an alliance that should continue or one that should be broken this thing is deeper than a child walked up to me and he says i'm going to sleep over and besides you met somebody at a party you just met the person maybe one interaction you got attracted to the person and then the next thing is you want to go sleep over no we have to think it through you need to tell me okay who, what does this person represent in your life which is why every time i have conversation with you you see that i find a way to navigate it back to values systems and structures so what are the values you have inculcated in your child can this child talk about this friendship on the strength of the family values how does being a friend with this person support your value as a person i'm not saying you both do the same thing the fact that you attend the same school or you met at a party it's not a wrong thing we all have got to meet somewhere we have friends we met in church we have some we met in the line of our careers we have some we met in the market some we met in the mall so you're going to meet people at various phases of your life but what should drive your relationship or interactions with them is value based not just the fact that i'm looking for people to interact with if that's the case okay. then just go sit somewhere in the market square and be interacting with every dictum and harry that comes to buy things okay, Rami, it's no different um, what i'm saying is there has it's time to be for us to a, go for a break right, right now this interaction it's time for us to go for a break and um you we right. just want you to sit back let's take this word of marble and also let's hear from our viewers what they have to say and we'll come back to continue this discussion so let's go for a word of marble and box for thank you um i can depending on the age the child is i can depending on the age the child is if my child is in university yes i can already he's going to school he's in the hostel i'm not there i don't know what he's doing you know but if his child is probably in primary school or secondary school no i won't allow that he's still on that age once a child is an adult, 18 plus, yes, he can, he can sleep over for whatever reasons. Anyway, more, uh, well, it must be for a good reason, actually.
Okay, welcome back. And um, I, I, you had that man. He was the only one we could reach out to. Okay, so he said um, he can allow his child to go for a sleepover. Even staying in the hostel is one of those. You know, some cannot allow their children to stay in the hostel or even, you know, be in a boarding school. Yes, yeah, some cannot. You can eh, lie, lie over my head eh, over it is not possible so now let's go back with remy we have been discussing with remy la while he is a parenting coach and an author he's also a man with the word and so we've been discussing with him sleep over how far how safe how well so we're going back to remy remy are you still there you actually took some questions out of my mouth. Yes, I am. You know, you said something about our wealth. You know, I wanted to ask what are the cautions we need to put there. But you have said it. That um, we need to know the family. You become family friends. It doesn't have to be your extended family now. Whatever child that your daughter or your son is relating with, get close maybe during parent um, forum or anything know them well i think that's what you're trying to tell us try to know what home yes, that child is maybe do picnic together maybe do just create an atmosphere whereby there is a bond first and a relationship between that family before you can allow it now i want to ask when do we allow them where should this start from secondary, primary, high institution, okay, even when they are singles? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, you know, when they when they go so fast, you feel like, ah, with the way this child has been behaving at home, I don't think I can allow him or her. Imagine a child that's still wet the bed. The mom will not want such a child to go outside and, you know, you understand, out of, I don't know. So, when at what point in time at what age should we allow them and who you have said who you have said who so when at what age you know in their life should we have five year old three year old at what age joy is doing amount any help here so at what age should we allow when remy over to you thank you all right um other people may have a different opinion but uh, if you come to me and you want me to give you my honest opinion about this if your child is not up to seven you do not allow your child to visit for too long and do not allow your child to sleep over if your child is not up to seven i say it again if your child is not up to seven so in 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 the in in the system of child growth at six a child is formed so everything a child would be right is formed by the time they are six years old some drag it to seven that's um late bloomers drag it to seven some drag it to eight you know but what they do in adult life is to either improve on it or just be that thing so you cannot allow your children to start visiting for too long if they are not up to seven years old so sleeping over i'm not sure it should also happen until your child is like 10 12. when a child when the child is bold enough to look somebody in the eye and say i'm sorry i can't have this you know as a baby We have three levels of growth. Mm. The first level is the level we call the slavery level. And this level, a child does not have a say. Decisions are made for them. You know, a slave cannot say, this is what I want to eat. It is what you serve a slave that a slave will eat. A slave cannot say, I want to go out. It is where you take the slave to that the slave goes to. So that's the stage you must not allow your children to sleep over when they cannot say no when they do not have a say or a choice do not allow your children to visit too long and do not allow them to stay sleep over because at that point they are susceptible to everything anybody tells them 
they are still trying to find on the or they are still trying to understand their left from their right so at that point whatever you say is good do not forget these are children who were born they didn't have a choice to the name they bear they didn't have a choice to their tribe no choice to their sex no impute at all whatsoever from them to the religion in fact there is no impute from them to the food they eat or the clothes they wear every of these things is being decided for them the only thing they decide is when they want to do the natural things like uh, people and all the likes so those are the ones that they don't need your permission to do but oftentimes you see them they try to get permission from you mommy i want to go and this mommy, daddy i want to go and this so at that point i'm not going to say allow your children to sleep over so if they must at least from the age of 12. Okay. okay i love the fact that you've given us a proper definition of when this should start so parents viewers out there you now know and understand so monitor your children but then i want to ask um a question that um, it's kind of off similar to what we are discussing is there something like a parent being overprotective of a child can we say that um you know a parent that um that wants the child to always be home you want to know everything about the child you want to understand what the child is doing at this point and i'm, I'm talking of at least from the age of 10 9 10 11 there about you just want to be around this child you want to know is that something called overprotectiveness of a child and if there is how can parents reduce it now i'll give you a very typical example i have a daughter who is 11 and um sometimes she just goes off but she'll go to her room and be singing with her imaginary friends dancing and sometimes i knock and she's like what do you want i just want to know what you're doing in the room and one day she looked at me and said ah every time you're always checking on me checking on at the point i felt like ah, ah, i'm kind of like on you again <laughs> do you get and i know there are a lot of parents out there that are in a similar situation is there something called overprotectiveness of parents or you just allow them be and just watch and know when to come in you know yeah. <laughs> let's just get this right so that it will help a lot of us out there <laughs> thank you all right um we call such parents helicopter parents you know, helicopter is meant to give speedy intervention. Quickly move from one point to another. So we call them helicopter parents. It's understandable. It's quite understandable. And you see this a lot with people who have just one child. And some with, with um, you know, a child they have so much attachment to. So you see it with them. But when you see people who have plenty of children, you see they don't care. And it's not that they don't care. It's people who have come to understand that this child will take care of him or herself. Let me say this. I don't blame anybody that finds him or herself there. I shared something this morning. I don't know. Both of you must have read it. Where I said your mind was not configured to keep you safe. I mean to help you succeed or to help you do a lot of things. The first job of your mind is your safety which is why your mind will forget the fact that aeroplanes have flown billions of people across the earth safely without crashing but the moment you have to fly the first thing your mind reminds you is the one that crashed ah have you forgotten dana air crashed somewhere in abuli Egba. meanwhile several other millions of aeroplanes have flown successfully you know and landed successfully so your mind will always remind you of that when it's time to board a bus from one city to another your mind will remind you that once you get in an accident the mind will not remind you of the ones that traveled successfully that's the way your mind is configured so only the people who have subdued their mind are the ones we call courageous so courage is not that somebody is strong it's just that the person has overcome the mind and the person who is not courageous is somebody who is still subject to the mind. So that's the difference. So when you see that you are being overprotective, it's not that you are being overprotective, you are still under the influence of your mind. 
that's always saying now nah, why is this child locked up what if this happened what if she's doing this what if he's doing that so it's not out of place but my advice for you is if you continue like that you're going to have a child that will always depend on you for decisions to be made and they don't need you to make decisions so i told you i tell people rather that you should allow your children to own their decisions lessons are learned in making mistakes so if i don't make mistakes i'm not going to learn so allow them stop being afraid that they are going to make mistakes stop being afraid that they will disgrace you your children are going to embarrass you people are going to know uh, that you didn't do this no you have trained your children just leave them leave them i said it the last time we were together everything you said your children heard but at the appropriate time when they develop the capacity you know to handle what you told them they will handle it so going up go and down to check all the times you went to check let me ask you now princess all the times you went to check did you find that child doing something forward every child will be a child worst case scenario you see the child climbing the bed throwing pillows on the floor you know using your throw pillow to do all of those things those are the only things you catch a child doing a child will be a child let me give you a typical example at some point i was afraid to send our kid to go buy things but after a while i'm like if you don't send him he's never going to learn and then you lose some things training a child so when i give my child money go and buy me this the only thing in his mind is to buy that thing he hadn't developed the understanding that when i buy i need to wait for my change so if you give my son 1000 to go buy milk he will just go there hand them the 1000 collect milk and bring it to you so you would have to send him back to go and tell go and meet them and get the change so over time we kept losing money but right now he has developed accountability to know that look this thing is 750 if i give them a thousand naira they need to give me change if i didn't manage to wait to lose some of those pieces of currencies i lost then i wouldn't have you know gotten him to the level he is right now so you need to know that you're going to lose a few things let them do whatever they want to do but i don't mean i'm not saying you should let them play with electricity or play with your flat screen so all i'm saying is let the child exhibit who he or she is it will enable you know what next to do because if you don't allow them to do it where you can manage it they will do it in a place where it will be beyond your management so that's my candid advice to helicopter parents who wants to jump in just so that their child does not work in error let your child walk in his or her error right in front of you so that you can correct it other than going to do it where people would have to point fingers at you and that's the thing you're afraid of we are afraid of people accusing us of not being good and productive parents so let that happen in your cocoon so that you can deal with it and then you know that won't happen again oh thank you so much now i'll just want you to give us your um final advice before you depart from this beautiful wonderful fellowship. gathering <laughs> fellowship union communication <laughs> discussion so your one minute um, all right um, take off thank you okay parents hear this your children will not only succeed in life because because they were excellent in school i'm pointing at most of you right now the people who often come first and those who graduated with first class are they the only successful people today in your clique most people succeed largely because of strategic alliances because they have proper connections they have fantastic relationships so permit your children to have relationship with other people because they will not do life alone all i'm going to say is inculcate fantastic values in your children just so that when they go out there they will be very intentional in picking their association you're not going to pick it for them so let's drop the fear and do the work drop the fear oh. and do the work oh god let's uh, take away the fear let's not do the, the fear work. 
and do the work. That is another one. I'm going to write it on my status this morning. Let me please send that show. one you you the one you or uh, you opened with this morning. Please send yeah, it to us. This is on the platform. Okay, okay. I will check that, it out. Said, Let me say go and do the don't, work. Don't, don't, oh, no, no, don't fear the work. Let do the work. Wow, that's interesting. Thank Honestly, you so much. Um, Thank I you knew so that much. I knew Thank that Remy was going to take away the fears I had this morning with this topic, and so I really appreciate. Thank you. Thank you so very much to the helicopter parents. Like Remy has come back. Yes, helicopter no, parents. I'm too. going to share this everywhere. Helicopter parents, parents are fun of moving around. Allow your children. Do not fear the Do not fear. <laughs> Do the work. Do the work. Do not yes, fear do the, the war. Do but the do work. the work. Do oh, the no. work. I'm going to look up that very much. I really love appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Yes, um, you know, for parents. Now, you see, when we bring conversations like this, it's for you to really know and understand how to navigate life. Please, please, I beg you. Today's topic, share it in every platform you belong to. Put it on your status, share it on your PT. If you have access to the parental forum, please share. We need to really know what we are doing and how to navigate this life. Yeah, you know, ah, do the work. You really need to do the work. Thank you very, very much. We really appreciate your time here on the show. My name still remains Princess Joy Ayo. You know, you know, you know, we, we are taking so much time today. We're so sorry. You know, when it comes to children, we are always carried away. We're so sorry. But our tomorrow's topic, it's going to be now they've resumed three weeks, okay? resumption know they are friends just like we have talked about sleepovers now know they are friends share talk let them express themselves by telling you who their friends are it is by this you can keep them secured yes in case of anything you can always reach out to their friends you know what last did you discuss and all that so it goes a long way so that's what we'll be talking about tomorrow. Wish you the very best of today. My name is Remain Olori Adejo Academy David. I hope to see you tomorrow. We are going to be here together. God willing, see you tomorrow and have a splendid day. Bye for now.